Hi folks, welcome to my Bit Retro Journal. Uh, today I'm going to do another uh, one of my quick clips, a video of five minutes or less. And I wanted to do a continuation of, uh, you saw a video where I used on the ZX81, uh, the M Coder 2, which is a basic compiler for the ZX81. Well, I just wanted to show you, I compiled my Elite program, which is sort of partially done. I originally wrote it for my um, ZX Simulator. So let me show you first on the ZX Simulator. Let me just uh, start this up real quick. And what I want to do is show it to you uh, on the ZX Simulator and then also show it to you on the um, Timex NK1000. And then I'm going to show you the compiled version. So, the, so these are going to be both the basic version. And uh, all right, so let me load it in. And here's the game. And uh, I'm just going to use the, the default configurations. So I'm going to hit start and you can see it run. And again, it's pretty slow. Um, it's going to take a while for that. You can see the star field moving. Um, and uh, yeah, here's the enemy. So if I go, uh, so it's A. And you can see, yeah, pretty slow. And uh, yeah, so and I can fire. And as you can see, it's 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 a little painful to play, um, not very fast. And uh, let me uh, now go and show you uh, the same thing on the ZX81. So here's the ZX81 all set up. So I'm going to load in again. I'm I'm loading this in via my um, PC, and uh, I I'm using uh, these programs are uh, were created using OTL's fast load. I did a video on that. Uh, it just means this is going to load in in about eight or nine seconds. Uh, so OTLA fast load. You can see the screen it creates for OTLA. I did a video on that as well. So go check that out. Here it is. So this is just the original basic program I just showed to you on the QL. And uh, if I run it, uh, it's just going to be just as slow. Here we go. And um, I'm going to just hit start. And you can see that, again, it's about the same speed as it on the QL. The star field kind of creeps along. And uh, if I hit fire, you can kind of see from the fire that it's slow. And when I get a pirate, it does do the screen jump, which is... I don't know. I, I don't actually do anything with that. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but for whatever reason, when you use plot, uh, the um, pirate's going to show up in a second, and you can see how slow that moves. If I move to the right, um, now you can see that on the bottom it went, and you can see it's plotting along very slowly. Um, you know, that's about as best you can do on the uh, ZX81 Basic. Okay, so. Let me break out of this and new, and let me show you the compiled version using MCoder 2. Again, had done a video on this uh, on some um, smaller programs, but this one required uh, a little bit of work because it was too big for MCoder to actually uh, compile all at once, so I had to piece it together. And I'm going to do a separate video on how to do that because it was pretty cool how to create separate chunks, some that do the graphics, some that just do the main engine. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to piece that together. So here, let me run this one. And uh, it's basically the same. It, uh, it has a few things. For instance, in the very beginning, I, I don't do the, the you adjust the, the, the key mappings because the graphics is different, separate from that, and I haven't figured out how to combine them yet. So I'm going to just hit Start. And you can see right away, the, look at the star field. It's going really fast. And if I do a fire, that's very fast. And I can go... So this is compiled machine code. This will not run on the, um, oh, yeah, this will not run on the, um, let's try to play the game here. Uh, this will not run on the, uh, let me see if I can fire them, uh, on the ZX81, uh, on the ZX simulator, obviously. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, and so the only difference is the explosion. I just I sort of flashed on the on the ZX simulator. I created a little um, graphic, and the reason why is I I, I can't I haven't uh, transferred the coordinates of the pirates to to where it appears between the scopes. So I just kind of flash it. In any case, that's really all I wanted to show today. So um, uh, watch out for a future video where I actually show you how to do that. Thanks for joining me.